Welcome back to Living 808. Yes, it's still September, but the party starts early this year. Tomorrow, the fifth annual Honolulu Oktoberfest goes down at the Bishop Museum. Here to tell us all about it, Christine Gomez and Chef Edmund Kwok from Pitch Sports. Thank you uh, for being here. This is awesome. Hey. I love it when we have guests that bring food. <laughs> of course. It's awesome. Tell me about the event. Uh, okay, well, it's actually our fifth annual Oktoberfest. Okay. Um, and this year's event is going to be at Bishop Museum. So, mm -hmm. new location for us um, for our annual event. Um, it's from 5 to 9. And it's actually 21 and over. And we uh -huh. have, yeah, we'll have a variety of beers. Um, probably over 25 beers for everybody to taste, to mm -hmm. enjoy. Um, we'll also have a bunch of Street Grinds food vendors, some of the ones that you typically see at Eat the Street, um, okay. serving up, though, German-themed dishes. Ooh, okay, so tell me yeah. about the vendors. What, what, what food vendors will be there? So we definitely have Chef Ed here from Pitch Sports Bar. Chef Eddie! <laughs> and he's actually going to demo sort of what he is going to be serving, which is a wiener schnitzel. <laughs> Wiener schnitzel. I just love that word. <laughs> Wiener schnitzel. Okay, what, so what are you doing? Uh, what I'm, are you doing? I'm breading our uh, uh, pork cutlet. Uh, right. Basically, it's Wiener schnitzel's pork cutlet. We salt pepper it. Uh, flour uh, with dredge and egg. It's one thing I could never figure out. Why is pork cutlet called Wiener schnitzel? German style. German. Yeah, gotta be, right? <laughs> Wiener for pork. You think, you think hot dogs or something. Okay, okay, so you're yeah. breading it? Yeah, we're breading it. Um, we're gonna get some, get our hot pan here. Okay. While you're doing that, uh, let's let's let everybody know about some of the uh, the beer vendors. What can we expect there? Yeah, so we'll have over 25 beer to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it will be sort of the Oktoberfest seasonal um, specialty beers from like Spaten, Goose Island, mm -hmm. um, and Blue Point. We'll also have some local favorites, so we'll have a bunch of Kona Brewing Company beers there as well. Okay. Um, and you'll be able to try them sort of in either six ounce sizes, so you can try a variety. Or you could, if you like one, you can get an entire glass. Okay. So, yeah, so there'll be a lot of options for everybody there. No pitchers? No pitchers. No pitchers, no, just the glasses. No. Okay, that's good, though, because everybody gets to drink moderately and Correct. have, uh, and, and and try have lot. more. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. That's right. So, you're cooking up the Wiener Schnitzel, which is basically yes. pork cutlet. Yep. Uh, and any special, I mean, it's just, what is it, Panko Flakes? It's Panko. Uh, uh, we kept it classic. Uh, okay. We're going to. Uh, we have our uh, house-made kraut that we do uh, right here, and our kraut is made with apple cider, caraway seeds, and a little sugar, and we, we marinate it for three days, and you get this beautiful red color from red cabbage. Uh, three days? Yeah. All right. This is our... Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, gonna, go ahead. It was a little off balance. I just... <laughs> this is our uh, mustard uh, potato salad. Um, there's a little... That's very good. Garlic, <laughs> mustard, mayonnaise, uh, put some green onions in there. Mm -hmm. uh, little nice fingerling potatoes, one of my favorite potatoes I like to eat. Okay, Chef, while you're doing that, Christine, you're talking about beers. Mm -hmm. I heard something about a limited edition mug. Right. So every year we provide um, a sort of collector's mug for okay. um, attendees that purchase tickets. So this year's mug will have our logo. It'll be 16 ounces and so and the good thing about it is if you have a mug you can use it to refill your beers and it's actually larger than if you would have just bought a glass so it's 16 ounces sort of as opposed to 12 so every time you get a beer it's four ounces more nice and you get a snazzy new mug obviously that you can take home and drink beer all month long <laughs> every day all month yeah. long uh, it's not just september in uh, or October Fest in September. There's also one in October, which would be appropriate. Uh, tell me about that one real quick. Yeah, correct. So actually, our event tomorrow is one of two sort of October e October Fest events that mm -hmm. we're doing. Um, tomorrow is at Bishop Museum, and on the sixth of October, we're actually doing one out on the west side at Copperway Commons Mall. Copperway Commons, October sixth. There's the information right there. You can go to eventbrite.com for all the information you need. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. And thank you, Chef. That's going to go down real easy during the break. Thanks again. All right, coming up on Thanks. Living It Away, there's a new star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We've got the latest on that.